Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the top seven reasons why your refrigerator is making noise. Stick around until the end of the video for an important tip that can help save you money. But before we begin, we're going to make sure the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. The first thing we need to look at is the evaporator fan motor. It turns the fan blade to circulate cold air throughout the unit. There are many different styles of evaporator fan motors, but they all work the same way. They're small electric motors with a shaft that rotates a fan blade to circulate the air. On most models, the evaporator fan motor is located in the freezer by the evaporator, but on some of the newer models with evaporators in both the freezer and fresh food sections, they can be located in both places. Constant exposure to cold temperatures and moisture slowly destroys the motor bearings. If you hear squeaking noise coming from behind the back panel of wherever it's located, the motor may be going bad. Once you verify that the noise is coming from the motor, you'll have to change it out. If you need to order a part, simply go to AppliancePartsPros.com and type in your model number. Find your part on the easy to read diagrams and match it to the number below. Click on the part if you want to see more pictures of the item or watch its repair video. You can also scroll down to see DIY stories from customers like you or ask a question in the Q&A section. Once you're ready, you can add the part to your cart. It's that easy. Most orders will arrive within two business days. Next, we need to look at the condenser fan motor. It cools the compressor and condenser coils during operation. Condenser fan motors come in a few different styles, but they all work the same way. A small electric motor spins a shaft with a fan blade on the end to force cool air over the compressor and condenser coils to keep them cool. They're usually located in the back of the machine behind the access panel. Due to its location, the condenser fan motor is exposed to constant heat and dust that eventually covers the motor. This causes the motor to overheat and wear out the bearings, causing a squeaking noise. If you determine that the noise is coming from the motor, you'll need to replace it. Now we're going to check the evaporator motor fan blade. It circulates cold air through the unit. Evaporator motor fan blades are located on the end of the evaporator motor shaft. They simply press onto the motor shaft, but some also have a locking collar. Evaporator motor fan blades can be found in the freezer section, but some newer models may also have them in the fresh food section. A lot of times a noisy fan blade can be caused by something getting in the way, like a piece of ice, insulation, or even a wrapper. Other times it may have cracked or have a broken blade, causing it to wobble and vibrate. It's rare, but sometimes a blade can work its way down the shaft and scrape against the motor. If that happens, you'll have to inspect the mounting hole to see if it's rounded out. If it's not, you can try to reposition the fan blade and see if it works. Once you have access to it, inspect the fan blade. If it's damaged in any way, you'll have to get a new one. Next, we're going to look at the condenser motor fan blade. It circulates air to cool the compressor and condenser coils. There are many different styles of condenser motor fan blades. Depending upon the style, it could be pressed onto the motor shaft or held on by a nut or screws. They're located behind the rear access panel and mounted on the condenser motor shaft. If you're hearing noise coming from that area, there could be something obstructing it that you'll have to remove. It could also be that the mounting hole is rounded out or a blade is cracked, causing it to wobble and vibrate. It may also have slid down the shaft and come in contact with the motor. If you see any damage, you'll need to change it out. As always guys, hit those like and subscribe buttons now to help support us making more of these videos. Now we need to inspect the door closure cams. It's what the door rides on when it opens and closes. Door closure cams come in various designs. They're usually made out of plastic and have an upper and lower cam. They provide a smooth surface for the door to ride on and help it stay open and closed. If your refrigerator has them, the lower one is usually mounted on the lower door hinge and the upper one is mounted on the door. If you're hearing a plastic on plastic grinding noise when opening or closing the door, it could be that your door closure cams have failed. Check to see if there's any damage or wear, but chances are if they're making noise, at least one of them has gone bad. Sometimes they're sold individually or as a set, but it's recommended that you change both out at the same time because you don't want to mix an old part with a new one. Next thing to check is the water inlet valve. It controls the water going into the refrigerator. Water inlet valves have solenoids that open and close to send water to the ice maker and dispenser. They're usually located at the back of the machine behind the access panel, but some can be found inside the fresh food section. If your water inlet valve is making a louder unusual noise when you use the dispenser, or when the ice maker fills, it could be due to a damaged solenoid, jam plunger, or a clog in the valve. First, temporarily turn the water and power back on. Always make sure the valve's all the way open, otherwise it may affect the pressure. 
Also make sure you're getting the correct PSI to the refrigerator. Low water pressure can cause the valve not to work properly and make noise. To test it, we're first going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out and then disconnect the water lines for both the ice maker and the dispenser. Testing it without water lines will help us determine if the valve is bad or if you have a blockage in the fridge. Then grab a container that you can put underneath the valve to catch the water that's going to come out during testing. If your valve has been making noise when you dispense water, all you have to do is press the dispenser lever and listen for any noise coming from the valve. If it's been making noise during the ice maker fill cycle, you'll have to let the ice maker go through a fill cycle while listening to the valve. Most ice makers have a test feature that allows you to make it fill. We can't show them all, so check your manual to see how to advance it. If the inlet valve is not making noise with the water lines disconnected, it means that there's an obstruction in the refrigerator, such as a clogged filter or a frozen water line that's creating pressure in the system. If that's the case, you'll need to clear the obstruction. If the valve is making noise, it means that the water inlet valve has gone bad and will need to be replaced. Last thing to look at is the compressor. It pumps the refrigerant around the sealed system. The compressor works as a pump to control the pressure and circulation of the refrigerant through the system. It's contained within the metal body of the compressor. It also has copper tubing that connects it to the system, and it usually has four rubber grommets that help absorb vibration during operation. They're located in the rear of the refrigerator behind the access panel. First thing you want to check is that the condenser fan motor that cools the compressor and condenser coil is working and that the condenser coil is clean because if the compressor is overheating, it can cause it to operate louder than normal. If one or more of the grommets fails, it could cause noise when the compressor starts or stops, so inspect them and replace any that are bad. If those are both fine, but the compressor is still making noise, it could be that the compressor is failing internally. Once it completely fails, you'll have to call a technician who's qualified to change the compressor and recharge the system. Now here's that money saving tip we mentioned earlier. If your freezer compartment isn't getting as cold as it used to, and your ice cream's getting soft, it could be that your condenser coils are dirty. Dirty coils can cause the freezer to run warmer than normal if the condenser and other components are covered in dust and pet hair. Dust and pet hair can insulate the coils, preventing them from working efficiently. This can also make the refrigerator run more and cause wear and tear to those components. Keeping the coils clean can improve your refrigerator's efficiency by 30%, so doing this can save you money on your electric bill and future repair costs. In order to clean them, you'll have to pull the refrigerator out and remove the rear access panel. Then carefully clean the coils. Keep in mind that some may be accessed from the front. You may have to use a condenser cleaning brush to reach in there. Also, while you're back there, clean the compressor, condenser motor, and fan blade and wipe down everything else. Be sure you're careful not to damage anything and make sure you do this at least once a year. Once you take care of the problem, you can plug the appliance in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another troubleshooting video brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons now, and if you have any questions or want to share how your repair went, leave a comment down below.